Many of us, we dream of traveling around the world and exploring new places while chasing new cultures, food, and experiences. My name is Corey, and here on Libras and Layovers, we are no different. But as exciting as it can be to travel around the world, it does come with some unique caveats and challenges. Now, after visiting more than 20 countries, we're here to share with you our top 10 ways to make travel more comfortable and convenient so that you can get the most trip. Let's get into it. All right, at number one, we have high quality footwear. If you're traveling abroad for any length of time, unless you have access to your own means of transportation, an endless budget to spend on things like taxis, Ubers, or public transit, then there's a good chance that you're going to be doing a lot of walking. Whether it be participating in guided tours, long day trips, or even just walking back to your Airbnb, after a night out for dinner or from the local pub. Wherever you find yourself, in our experience, walking has been the best way to take in all the amazing things the world has to offer. After many years of traveling around, we've racked up a lot of miles on our feet. Comfortable, high quality pairs of shoes and hiking boots have been some of the most valuable investments we have made so far. The last thing you want while traveling is to be limping your way around a foreign country because you're suffering from blisters or extreme foot pain. So get yourself some high quality footwear so that you can get the most out of your trip, pain free. Number two on our list is going to be packing light. Now this may sound crazy, but hear us out. If you're going to be doing any traveling in the near future, we here at Libras and Layovers think you should consider traveling light, and here's why. Ever heard the phrase, sometimes less is more? Well, we feel that when it comes to extended travel, it is a solid piece of advice. If you're visiting many countries along your journey, or even if you are just scheduled on a bunch of layovers between your final destination, the less weight you have to carry and less items you have to keep track of can save your back a lot of pain and your mind a lot of stress. Not to mention that even under the best of circumstances, airports are usually very big very busy and not the most reliable places in terms of making sure that your bags don't get lost along your way. Many of our friends who, like us, travel a lot have experienced horror stories where after arriving at their final destinations, they came to find that everything they brought with them had been somehow lost by the airline and they ended up with nothing in a foreign country thousands of miles away from home. Which leads us into our third spot on the list. Coming in at number three is choosing Airbnbs over hotels. People like us who like to travel with as little as possible, Airbnbs are especially convenient options. When Hillary and I are traveling for extended periods of time, we try our best to bring as few clothing items as possible, usually no more than a week or two's worth at a time. Choosing Airbnbs or similar accommodations over hotels for our stays really helps with this because many of the units available are more affordable, better located, and have built-in laundry as part of the rental. Being able to wash our clothes on a regular basis not only cuts down on the amount of clothes we need to bring with us, but it also has saved us a lot of money and time spent at laundromats rather than enjoying the places that we're visiting. At number four, we have earplugs. When traveling, one of the most valuable things that you can do for yourself is to try and make sure that you get a good night's sleep. Many of the most popular travel destinations come with a high volume of tourists from around the world. And just like us, they're looking to relax, unwind, or enjoy the festivals for as long as they can before their escape from everyday reality comes to an end. As fun as this can be, it can create a lot of noise, especially in hotels, hostels, and even at times on airplanes or the public transit systems. Large groups of people can get very loud, especially when alcohol is involved. In addition to this, jet lag is no fun. Different countries have different time zones, and it can take a few days to adjust to your new destination. Having a good quality pair of earplugs is an inexpensive way to make sure that you are well rested and ready to hit the ground running each and every day of your trip. Number five on our list is packing cubes. When traveling, it doesn't matter if you're only bringing carry-on luggage or a large number of checked bags. You can all use more ways to save space and packing cubes are a great way to do that because they allow you to fit a large number of clothing items into a small pouch and then compress them down further, saving even more space. Additionally, they allow you to keep your items organized as well as making packing and unpacking a breeze. 
They come in a variety of different shapes, sizes, and colors, and they're easily purchased and affordable on websites like Amazon. Number six, plug adapters. When traveling in different countries, a lot of people forget that different countries use different wall outlets. Today, we live in a world that is heavily relied upon by technology. So the last thing that you want is to be in a foreign country, not able to charge your phone, laptop, or camera. Luckily, wall plug adapters are an easy and affordable solution, it comes in handy, and most are compatible with ordinary electronics or whatever magical place you find yourself in. Number seven on our list is travel SIM cards. Whether at home or traveling abroad, it's difficult for most of us to function in day-to-day -day life without access to a mobile network in some form or another. In today's world, access to Wi-Fi and mobile hotspots are readily available. The truth is that is not always the case. And using data through your phone provider can be crazy expensive. When traveling, data SIM cards have been an absolute game changer for us. Whether you're trying to find your way around a new city via Google Maps, upload that selfie in Venice, or just trying to stay connected with your family and friends back home, prepaid data cards are the way to go. Plus, you can pick them up for cheap on Amazon or at most mobile stores around the world. Number eight, the Shemog Scarf. Shemog is a traditional Middle Eastern scarf that is both fashionable and frequently worn by members of the military. This scarf is one of the most versatile items that we bring with us on each of our trips, and it provides so many uses. You can wear it around your neck to keep cool, or in COVID times, pull it up over your mouth and use it as a face covering. There have even been times where we have unfolded our scarves and used them as light blankets on a train or something to sit on at the beach. For anyone who has followed any of our content, we would be hard pressed to find many videos where one of us wasn't wearing one. So it's no secret that we try not to leave home without them. They're very affordable and available on Amazon. The one that I'm wearing in this video cost me less than 15 bucks. Number nine, passport holders. When traveling abroad, your passport is undoubtedly your most important piece of documentation. Having a safe place to store it and keep it safe is a no brainer. They often come with an assortment of sleeves and pockets, which are also useful in storing other hard copies of important documents like photocopies of your ID, driver's licenses, flight schedules, or emergency cash. Finally, at number 10, we have first aid kits. When traveling in this day and age, as hard as you may try, sometimes getting sick is just something that we can't avoid. During our travels, we frequently visit many airports, train stations, and public events. Traveling abroad also means trying different food and ingredients that you may not be used to, which could lead to some tummy troubles. So it's no surprise that after coming into contact with so many people, it is almost inevitable to catch a cold, a stomach bug, indigestion, or even more recently, in my case, COVID while traveling abroad. Getting sick is something that can really ruin your trip. Now, while we don't think it's necessary to bring your entire medicine cabinet with you when you go, we do think having a few essential items on hand, just in case, isn't a bad idea. Like this mini first aid kit that I made here. It has things like band-aids, gas X, Tylenol, Imodium, and medicine for bug bites. Everything fits neatly into a small Tupperware that stays compact and organized and takes up very little space in my bag. All right, guys, well, that about does it for this edition of Libras and Layovers. I really hope this video helps you out with your next adventure. If you're interested in learning more about some of the products featured in this video, Amazon links can be found in the description below. To stay up to date with all of our future content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time on Libras and Layovers. Happy travels.